Mm, hello friends, happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know we did. Um, we had a really good weekend. It, even though it was hot, um, there was a lot of relaxation which we needed. And then on Sunday we had, Sunday's our church day, and then we had our summer fellowship last evening after our evening service, which was amazing. That was a lot of fun. Um, and then next week is our VBS, Vacation Bible School. So I don't know what my video schedule is looking like for that. I may only get one video out just because it is um, for the five days next week. So I will be occupied with that. Um, but I don't know. We're, we're going to just roll with it. Okay. So, um, last week's video, I did a video on the new premier gradient yarns. And if you remember in that video, I said something about, oh, my order wasn't there and it wasn't. Um, I was missing the teal tones of the gradient yarns. So I did contact Premiere and they were on top of it and they already sent out the teal tones. So as soon as that comes, then I will show you what that one looks like. Um, but today's video is going to be kind of short just because I'm going to try and get a few videos recorded today so I can put them out throughout the week because last week when I was talking about what videos I wanted to do for this week, I completely forgot that it is 4th of July week. So everybody's work schedules are different this week. Um, and I want to have as much family time as I can. So I'm going to record this video and get this one out for today, which is Monday, July 1st. Already we are seven months into the year. Wow. 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 <laughs> I don't know where this year has gone friends. Um, so anyways, I'm going to put this video out that I'm recording right now. I'll record another one on just a random yarn haul from different places. And then I will go from there on what else I'm going to record for this week. I'm kind of just right now, honestly, I'm flying by the seat of my pants on this. So, um, so the reason I'm sitting here holding the anti-pilling everyday worsted gradient yarn is because I'm going to use this for today's demonstration purposes. And this one again is a medium four. This is the pink tones. So what I'm going to do with this is I just want to work it up a little bit. I want to see how well it works up. I have my, uh, five and a half millimeter clover hook here. Does it want to, there we go. So I'm going to use this and then I'm also going to show you, um, I just want to see how this one works up being an anti-pilling. I'm working with an, another anti-pilling right now that I absolutely love and bear with me. I'm not used to doing this on camera. So I just put a slip knot on my hook right now and I'm going to go ahead and just chain I'm trying to look at my camera and at my project at the same time. So if this looks kind of clunky, I'm not used to this. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to do a chain of 20. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. The one on the hook does not count. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, wait, I just lost count. Like I said, I'm not used to doing this on camera. This is all new to me. So please be kind and bear with me. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. So now what I wanted to do here is remember in that crochet book I was showing you on some of the patterns, it says to chain like 20 plus two. So we have our chain of 20, right? Then you would just add one, two for that plus two at the end. So you would chain your 20 and then add two more chains. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do simple 
half double crochets into my second chain. So the chain on the hook does not count. So we're going to go one, two. Sorry if my fingers are in the way. So let me start that again. The chain on the hook does not count. So we're going to go one, two, and we're going to just do a double crochet into that second chain. And I will get better at this as I'm going and a double cro you can do a double crochet or a half double. I just totally messed up because I am a little nervous doing this. Bear with me. I know we shouldn't be nervous, right? We should just roll with it. I'm going to just do a half double, which is going through all three chains at once. I just want to see how this yarn works up, and I, so far, really enjoy it. Um, it's not splitting, which is really nice. And I'm noticing my tension is really screwy. That was my fault. Operator error, friends. So there's the, there's double crochets there. Half double crochets, I'm sorry, not doubles. So let's just try doing single crochets. Let's see what's, what happens with a single. just as good. No splitting. I actually find it easier to work a single crochet, which single crochets are not my favorite at all. I prefer um, double crochets. That's just me. So let's try a double crochet. Let's see how well it will do with a double, go through two, go through two more. So, so this is how this is working up. We have our half doubles, our singles, and then our doubles. So let's do my all time least favorite, which is a treble. Oops, I forgot with the treble, you gotta yarn over twice. Go up a loop, go through two. I think that's the trouble. I never do troubles, but so I like how this is working up. I'm going to be curious to know working all the way through this though, how the colors are going to flow from the pink, the light pink to the darker to the really, really dark here. If you knit it, this is how it's supposed to look apparently. But as you see, I'm crocheting and it probably just all depends on if you're going to, what stitch you're going to use. Because there are other stitches that you can use. Um, I'm going to just jump over. I want to do something, check something really quick on this. I'm going to just do like a basic fan shell using double crochets. I'm just curious how... That would look too with this pink. I'm just, I'm basically just going to not do a full fan. I'm just going to do, do this. And then we'll pop down here to the next stitch. And I will do a single crochet to seal that one off. So there's that. I think that actually looks pretty nice. So, yeah, I, I don't know what kind of shape I just made doing all this, but I like the way this is working up. It's definitely not splitting using this hook. Um, I do have a feeling if you use like a Susan Bates hook or something, it might, but this one, it's definitely not splitting. It's pretty soft. Um, again, this is the Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted Gradient. 
360 yards, 330 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams. It is 100% anti-pilling acrylic. It's a medium 4, 5 millimeter knitting needle, and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Tested and approved against 350 plus harmful substances. Machine wash, warm, tumble dry, I would assume is probably low. And again, this one is in pink tones. So, again, I am in no way affiliated with Premier. I just absolutely love their yarns, love their products. Their customer service is fantastic. Um, but there you have it, just a mixture of all different stitches. You know, and this is just your basic stitches. There's so many others out there that you could do this with. You could do this with a granny stitch, um, seed stitch, you name it. It's, it's all out there. So, anyways, friends, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Um, but I just wanted to show you this, like, with the chaining. When you're chaining, like, example, the chaining of 20, you would add the two. Or if your pattern says chain 10, add three. Then you would chain your 10 and then add three at the end. So this was kind of a two for one <laughs> video where I wanted to try out the new Premier yarns as well as um, showing you just what that means on the, when you see that on a pattern. So I hope this was helpful for you friends, but for now I'm going to get off of here. I want to get another video recorded and then I have a ton of stuff that needs to get done around my apartment. Um, I want to do it before the heat wave hits. So with that said, friends, be kind, be blessed. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.